At max, it is 3d6 and halved if you succeed. I see. What's the cone on it? Uh, 15, 15 foot. foot. Well, you since she to... appears to be undead, let's start by burning the fuck out of her. Yeah, 3d6. Uh, 3D6 yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't you have... Um... You have a second spell slot. A second level spell slot. No, if, but... if you choose to use that, you'd be adding an additional 1d6. Hmm? Oh. That's, that's burning hands. All right, you know what? No. Are we trying to fight this? What do you reckon, lads, are we going to take her down? Do you have chill touch? I do. Oh, she's if, fucking If you hit an undead oh, target, it also has disadvantage go. on attack rolls against you. Ah, you think you're going to suck it down, can't you? Let's chill touch somewhere. Uh, Poker in the eye. You are... <laughs> That's on hit... Is that a is is chill, chill touch is a fucking kind of it's a rain, rain, it's a rain spell. spell yeah so if he hits he deals one d eight yep you're on your level three regain eight HP and uh, they have if it's undead on it takes rolls. disadvantage yep yeah until the end of my next turn so as long as yes. yeah yeah no, no I was so, seeing if uh, it had um... until the end of your next turn so that's the spellcaster's next turn yeah 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 ah yeah. so what do I need to roll to hit d twenty yeah, D20 yes. plus... She's right at a big target. Let's go for a poke in the eye. That's a good one. Ah! Got a 20. <laughs> That's what we like to see. That'll be, a one, one, uh, that'll be a D8 then. A D8 plus 8? Because of the... Uh, D8 plus the 8. Rules. I like that amount of damage. Yeah, but isn't there also a plus something to it? Are we going to gonna it? 3... Uh, so that's three and eleven eight is eleven. Damage. No, you got uh, plus. Where's the plus? Vul Vul Vulcan, Vulcan what, what's your spellcasting modifier? Uh, what's the spellcasting modifier? How am I supposed to know that? Well, are you are you inter are you inter intelligence? Which one's higher? Uh, I'm intelligence. intelligence. Yeah. So plus what? Inter intelligence. That would be plus thing. five, right? Because intelligence well, plus proficiency. Twenty plus five. Yeah. Which is twenty-five. Right. So that's five plus it was eleven a is twenty. 16. Yeah, it's 16. Yeah, that was your plus. That's your free 8 you've got. Wait, why do I get 5 plus 11? Uh, five the 5 is your... So in int yeah. plus proficiency. So proficiency is 2, int why is 3. Is that's five. Damage? That is damage, yeah, yeah. No, proficiency doesn't get added as damage. It's only the modifier. What am I saying? So it's 3 plus your 8 for getting a crit. I thought hmm? it was only just the 8. I thought it was only just the 8 damage. That's what it's saying, and that's what I'm thinking. But normally you get your spell modifier. You create a ghastly hand, Do make I? a range attack. Well, let's read this. On a, on a hit, the target takes 1d8 and can't regain hit points until the start of the next turn. Yeah, no, it's only 1d8. Yeah, so, so it's so it's, it's, three, it's 11. It's just 11. Yeah, it's just 11. I was going to say, like, where the hell is this plus 5 coming from? Well, I mean, no, yeah, it, it's a it, cantrip, like... not a spell. It's a cantrip, not a spell. Normally... You don't have to modify to a spell. The, the modifier is to hit, not to damage. Yeah, 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 no, but you, so the way it works is proficiency is added to attack, and then you're, like, for the, the for the Ebrus and the Gnome, they add their dex modifiers to their attacks. Yeah, I don't, but it's, it's, Yeah, because it's, but on some of your spells, you do add your modifier for your, um, yeah, well, thing. I don't but that. this isn't a spell, this is a cantrip. That's where I'm getting confused. Yar. Okay, Chill cool. poke in the eye for eleven damage. Yep. Um, she. The eye fall. You you. So the hand comes up from the ground and like grasps one of her the back of one of her legs, and you can see this black. So she's like like, it's not it's not the same color of blue. It's the grayish brown that you can kind of see now. But as the hand like scrapes along the back of her calf, the calf yeah calf's the one. The calf you can see it's just leaving this black scarring on her leg. Yar. Whose turn is it now? Hellkeep. No, no, no! You can't hurt her! Is what he shouts in anger. She's um, trying to kill us, isn't oh, it no. obvious? She's said it three times, he's just not listening. You'll be happy though. Um, her, she casts something called uh, a shocking sphere. So this sphere of electricity comes from one of her hands crashing down on Hellkeep doing um four, 
Okay, that's that. And then that'd be this. And then Hellkeep does a saving throw with disadvantage because he doesn't believe um doesn't believe in in this. And Hellkeep takes a decent amount of damage. Let me put this on another tab. Um he's gonna have that, that, and that. So somewhere between would be this. And then he took that much damage. Yes. Okay. So he's on this many left. Okay, cool. Uh Hellkeep for in game reasons is what's effectively known as bloodied. Oh well he's dead then. Um and then no, that's that's a big spell, involves a lot of effort. Um uh, also you've noticed that that spell was fucking huge, obviously, and affected quite a large area. Um I'll quickly draw it, but I'll delete the picture. It affected like that size of a square. So it's a like a fifteen foot that's radius. Not a square. Yeah, it's a rectangle. <laughs> but it's a it, it affected a fifteen foot radius. Yeah, okay. Um just so you're all aware. Roughly. Well it's a little bit less than fifteen foot square, but it's fine. Um, fifteen foot radius. That's insane. It's a thirty foot square. Well it's, don't it's, stand it's not yeah, sorry, other. sorry. So it's it's a square that's ten feet, but it's like a radius of fifteen, but it's fine. A radius of fifteen is a diameter of thirty. Oh yeah, that's a fair point. Sorry. It's a 15 foot square, roughly. Yeah, sorry. I'm just saying, sorry. it's 30 feet like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 30 feet is fucking huge. Yeah, no, it's not that big. Yeah, it's not that big. Half of that, roughly. Anyway, uh, did you just so draw a perfect a circle? Seven and a half. Yeah. Uh, that's a bit better. Then. Yeah, I can't delete your circle. Okay, there we go. Uh, <laughs> nice. Gnome. Yeah. You've just seen that? This massive lightning just destroy Elky, basically. Just like, and he screams in agony. And goes, you son of a bitch. You still like your god now? This ain't your god. That, that does help you actually say, you son of a bitch. Yeah, he says, you son of a bitch. Okay. okay. Uh, after he's done screaming from the yeah. electrocution. Sure. I want him to survive, by the way. He could be a <laughs> fun so do I. He's a tank. Well, very long. Yeah, no. Not, not tank anymore. She didn't uh... move, by the way. She didn't move. So therefore... So no, the bulls didn't do anything. Okay. Yeah. Um, but they're still there. They're still on the ground, so. I'm just... I guess we've got no choice but to fight. Right, I will shoot her. Yep. Go for a headshot. Yeah. That's more damage to the undead. Someone's yeah, engaged within five feet, so you'll, you don't get advantage on the attack roll, but you will get a sneak attack on the damage. Uh, well, I think my crossbow just broke. I rolled a one. Uh, I don't do crit fail stuff because I've tried it in the past. It just never works because I don't have a good table. Um, that's fine. He just missed. Can't we argue he has advantage because he's hiding behind a corner? She's a 25 <laughs> foot robin zombified yeah, thing. Miss? <laughs> on the floor. Yeah, how could he miss? Because he, maybe the floor shaking and not really leveling Did, up and hey, he's a tiny hey, foot. You, you, you said the floor stopped shaking. Yes. But it wasn't when he's moving over there, and then he's now just like bewildered by the fact you saw a lot of lightning bolt go f drop from her. He so has seen worse. Ibrus. Yeah. Yeah. Um. All right. <laughs> I I I I first want to shout to Hellkeep. Uh, like, Hellkeep, get away. Just okay. just to see if he can like run away from this shit and survive because yeah. Um. I then promptly grab my axe because she has now made an attack, which means she enemy, she die. Uh, yeah. So we run back, uh, and then we swing our axe, hoping for yep. the best. Cool. Hold it. And... Chop her legs off. Can't reach anymore. Let's see, where is that? That's there. Cut her down to size! Uh... That's, that's a four. ten. A ten is a miss. Yep. You gotta use a key point. Do you have do you have to hit to use a key point to punch? No, but I have to use a key point if I want to punch two times. So I'll punch oh, once. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, yeah. That was not how it worked. I'm rolling bad. That's a nine. Nope. 
You die are now Abraham. not in use. Yar. Does she have disadvantage on all attack rolls, or only the ones against me? Only the ones against you, sadly. Mm. That's a shame. Yeah. Uh, I feel like this is a boss fight where I need to use some of my spells. I don't want to get too close, though. Dangerous. I think you I mean... should try and redeem yourself with a with, um, with, uh, flame. What's it? Uh, Firebolt? Because you've never hit with it. No, yeah. it's just gonna make it's gonna miss again. You, you could also use Burning Hand, you know, and just finish off Hellkeep. Just, like, make, make him no, suffer less. he's not gonna be dead. <laughs> We're trying to minimize collateral damage. Here. Ah, I see. Right. Um, let's go for another chill touch, shall we? Cool. Grab the other leg. Try and claw her down to the ground. Uh, I don't like that number. <laughs> no, that if ten doesn't Plus hit, five less... is a nine. Mm. Yeah, miss. I miss, do I? Hell keep. 25 foot tall fucking giant and I miss a shot. Just screams, picks up his sword, leaving his bow and arrows on the ground. Picks up his like rusty sword and just goes to slash at her. Um, protrusely. Um, Someone woke up and chose violence. And gets a 19 plus stuff. Is it hit? Um, let me just double check that it's not a d8. It is a d6. Um... Chop, chop, no, it's not. Uh... Isn't he using two hands? That's why. Well, that's why I just want to double check. He is using two hands. Ah, oh, piece of shite. Let's do this one. And uh, yes, it is. Okay, cool. It is bigger than that. D six. So it's a D eight. Let me grab my D eight. Um, he attacked rec recklessly. If that makes any sense to anyone. Mm -hmm. Um. It does 11 damage. Ah, I did 11 damage too. Maybe maybe I was a bit under... Anyway, it doesn't matter. That's annoying. No, yeah. killer. Um, yeah, so, and he also, you notice, like, he's frothing at the mouth with just screaming. He clearly heard you, by the way. He just, she's choosing not to, he's choosing to use his Yeah, uh, I, I, pain I, I get it, anger. but... I mean, it's for his own best, but you know, yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah, he's just an NPC. Much. Why make him survive? Well, he chose not to listen. He uh, chose violence. Robin. That's what he did. So, I'm just gonna pop the loop. I'll be back for my goats. Okay. Um. So... Oh, she goes for the wizard. Let me just read what this happens. Cool. Perfect. Okay. She shoots what looks to be um like like a you know a lightning bolt that like from all the cartoons that like people used to throw. Yeah. It's like one of them, but of ice. Hmm. At the wizard. So icicle. Yeah. Well, yeah, but it's a little more. It's more of a. a it's not really like pure ice, but it, yes. And he, she rolls a. Okay, let's see what the damage. Um, I presume 18 plus stuff hits. Yep. You've got like 12 wizard or AC or I something? Yes, 13. He's 11. Full of a 13, yeah. 11. Um, yeah. Let me grab. Oh, they're not. They're all too small. Okay. Um, God. Um, also, oh, can you roll this? A. He's currently not here. Oh, shit. I've misheard that. Well, we'll see if he takes. If he gets the effect or not when he's back. But he's going to take. Oh, could have worse. He only takes uh, five damage. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, well, well, we'll make sure. He, we'll see if he takes two or five damage when, when he's back. And we'll just move on. Uh, no. Yeah. It's your turn. Uh, I'll try shoot her again. Cool. Uh, 14, 18 with my dex bonus. 18's a hit. Cool. Uh, so you get your sneak attack damage as well. 
So it's an extra d6, isn't it? At your level, uh, three d6, I think. An extra two d6, I think. Now, um, you're only level three. Let me double check. Yeah, let me double Player's check. Handbook. I think it's level five where you become two d6. No. It's, it's not that late, I don't think. No, level three, two d six. You're right. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I thought so. Cool. Three. D it's a oh, it's three d six at level five. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh balls. Uh, I've got a total of fourteen plus uh, your dex, uh, which is three. My dex is four. Oh, then it's um, plus four. So it's seventeen. No, we're rolling for damage, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. So it's the damage of the weapon. Yeah. Which is eight, uh, six, I think, or eight. To D6. You're using the hand crossbow. Yeah, so it's 6 plus D... Is it 6 plus D6 or 8 plus D6? It's 6 plus 2 D6. Right, so 6 plus 3 D6 in total then. No, no so your attack my roll... Hand crossbow is 6 D6. My attack roll was 14 plus my dex making 18. Yeah, that's... The I then damage. rolled for damage and I rolled a 6, a 4 and a 4 plus the 6, so I've done 20 damage. No, no, you know, so, you're, 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 so your plus for damage is only plus 3. It's your dex. Or four, no, sorry, plus four. Not. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so, so your 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 attack roll is your your weapon plus two d six for a sneak attack. Then your and plus your dex modifier. Your attack, your roll to hit is dex plus proficiency on your weapon. So your proficiency doesn't go into damage; it goes into attacking. So if you rolled. Three D six. It's three D six, whatever that value was, plus four, if your dex is four. Which I mean is... that'll still be eighteen damage. Yeah, which is eighteen. Oh uh, it's still a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm just confused myself. Hold on. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah, that's fine. Yeah. It's more so... damage than I've done. You've done 11. The only person who hasn't done anything is the, is the monk, who's like the fastest guy in the world who can't hit a 25 foot fucking uh, zombie robin. Well, they've had more chances than I have. Ibris. <laughs> Redeem yourself. Oh, actually, before we go it's to Ibris, um, Adrian, as you're back, you need to roll me a, a constitution saving throw. What if I don't want to? Uh, well, you can take five damage. Eyes, bro. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, that's a ten plus probably a two. Yeah, that's a pass. Yes, ten um, plus two is a twelve. You, you take you take a two damage, and is that it? yes, so you're on sixteen. But you also that's noticed that. that you kind of you it's like basically as it hits your like toes, it got to your feet. You notice that they became like super super sore, and as you picked up and moved them and wiggled your toes, that kind of stopped that pain going through but it seemed like it was going it was trying to take hold of you and um, but we'll find out what happens if that happens again cool that's i will do one. two attacks as always yep. and the axe is 11 plus 6 so that's 17 hit you know that's and... only a normal axe though isn't it it is yeah, yeah. it is yeah but that that's changes cool. nothing yeah it changes nothing. that's right uh, and the hand is a tenner. Um, but the axe deals five plus four, so nine damage. Nine damage. Nice. Okay. And uh, go here. Jesus and Christ. I oh. will then, just because I can, walk here in between yep. Adran and Robin. Are you trying to Adran and Robin or Hellkeeper and Robin? No, Adrian and Robin. Cool. Fuck hell keep. Cool. Why? Didn't it's your words in the first place, so now it's between you and her. Well, no, but I have a feeling that I can Oh. I, I re rep my ability and no I I cannot jump up and just grab whatever missile is thrown and reduce the damage to it. It has to be against me, but hey. Worth a shot. And it's a missile. I suppose orbs and stuff would be missile in, Any any ranged attack is is counting as a missile. <laughs> As an as a reaction, I can reduce yep. ranged weapon attack. Yeah, but if it's if it's a flame that comes up from the ground, I would believe that's got nothing you can. And it, or if it's a fireball, well, fireballs and firebolts can be thrown back. But if it comes up from the ground, it's not a missile. 
it's not a ranged attack per se. Mm. Yeah, fair. I'll still fucking try, but no. <laughs> you, yeah. I can jump instead, but yeah, that'll be my turn. Uh, Adran. I've got this picture of a dwarf leaping up into a giant magical laser beam. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing too. I'm also I seeing like it. I blocked it. Like, <laughs> I'm just thinking of Dragon Ball Z where they throw like the Kame Kame Ha. That's like the size of the world, and like just seeing Ebrus just jump up out of nowhere. He's going, "Not today!" Back at you, <laughs> and then he's running, scuttling off into his corner. Well, yeah, but that's the fun of it, isn't it? <laughs> Right, so I shouldn't stand here. You can. She's 25 feet tall. You can shoot over the small dwarf. Yes, but I've been frozen here and I need to move. Well, she um, wasn't. You weren't frozen. I don't care. I'm moving. Okay. Go back one, actually. <laughs> Keep uh, the dwarf between me and her. Um. She'll touch again. Cool. Disadvantage on the attack rolls. And I scored a war. Yeah, I got a 22 in total. Hit. Ah, was a 17. Got a hit. D8 damage. Here we go. Oh, eight. eight. And she's disadvantaged against attacks against you. So if she chooses you. I feel lucky to be chosen as the target of the attack by the boss. Not the tank, not the damage dealer to my right, but me. Uh, both the wizards and rogues are damage dealers. And no worries. Helki ah. <laughs> does another reckless swing and hits for another. Oh, sadly, only a uh, four damage. Um, as he does that, though, the back of her calf just like flops onto the ground and like turns to like the flesh drops. And uh, after like half a second, it changes into dust, kind of like just stays in the ground. Um... Iberian, a yep. very bad question. Yeah. How large is her head, and is it larger than the box which I donated the head in first? No, her head is proportional. You could definitely fit her head, this head in there if you, if you want. Good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Next time, chop it up before putting it in. He did chop up the head. Fair point. The head was oh you oh you mean to lots of pieces. We have lots yeah. of smaller robins. Yeah, chop it up, not chop it off. No, see, yeah. I I actually just wanted to see if she just would grow incrementally larger and larger each time. 